Hey guys, real quick before this battle starts, I wanted to just give you a quick overview of my build for the Henry IV and why I've chosen what I've chosen so the battle, what happens during the battle makes more sense. So, as you can see, I'm running a 19 point captain on this build and my skills are as follows. Priority target, because obviously you want to know when people are looking at you as a cruiser. It's very important. Expert marksman to get that turret traverse just a little bit better. Uh, adrenaline rush so that your guns get faster reload uh, the lower health you go. Superintendent give you that extra boost and an extra heal and the extra AA comes in the occasionally. Demolition expert to make that uh, to make that fire chance just a little bit sweeter. Uh, advanced firing training to boost the AA just a little bit. Uh, and of course concealment expert because you don't want to be spotted from the moon, which this ship generally is. Um, here we'll go back to port. Uh, take a look at the modules real quick, the upgrades. So I went with main, arm, main armaments mod 1, pretty standard. I ran, I'm running the special speed boost upgrade. Um, it gives it a 50% action time. So your, your action time is 3 minutes normally, and this gives it a minute and a half additional. So that puts you at a 4.5 minute speed boost, which is very nice. I went with aiming systems mod 1 to get that uh, god tier dispersion, which feels really great. Um, steering gears, because you don't want to be able to... you don't want to turn too slowly, you want to be able to dodge those shells. Concealment again to, uh, you know, obviously prevent people from nuking you from orbit. And then the reloading, uh, reload mod because you want to be able to fire these guns as quickly as possible because I refer to this boat as the Mega Kaba. It's a very similar playstyle. In fact, I prefer this over the Kaba. Um, but let's take a quick look. 53,300 HP. Um... Got those 240s with 26% uh, fire chance, which is pretty good. 3400 HE da max HE damage, uh, 6200 AP alpha. Um, good shells, really like them. Uh, and then of course secondary armament, which actually goes off occasionally, which is pretty fun, especially with AFT. The torpedoes are pretty meh. Not really much to look at there. AA defense, pretty pretty solid, especially at. Uh, Especially at that uh, mid and long range, just really good. The long range isn't so good, but at mid range, you're, you ramp up pretty considerably. Um, 35 knot base speed. I don't have Sierra mics right now, the speed flags, so what you're looking at is the normal speed. You can get up to about 41, 42 with the boost without the flag. Um, it's 44, 45 width. Uh, then concealment isn't spectacular, but nobody. <laughs> it's It's pretty bad. But yeah, that's that's my build for the Henry, so just gives you kind of a little bit of an idea of what we're dealing with here before, obviously, uh, you see the game. So, enjoy the gameplay. What's up, guys? Lord Cable here, coming at you with a World of Warships commentary video. And today, guys, I will be playing the Henry IV. This is a recording of the gameplay. Uh, it's recorded after the fact. Um, and as you can see, some random person just joined our division. Um... My division mate was a little bit confused about that, so I removed him from the division. Uh, it's kind of confusing. But anyway, uh, this is my best match in the Henry IV, and I feel like it really shows off the power of the ship when played correctly. Uh, many people refer to the Conqueror as the Mega Zao. Well, personally, I feel as though the Henry IV is the Mega Kaba. It plays very similarly to the Kabarosk. Um, it has a lot of the same... Uh, Really, the playstyle is very similar. Um, so, as, as you'll see going into this, uh, as you'll see going into this, there's some pretty crazy stuff that happens. So, we're just going to keep an eye out. So, anyway, my buddy here, uh, my buddy Mr. Chipmunk, is playing the Kronstadt, the new Tier 9 Soviet Freemium. Uh, and we're on the map Tears of the Desert, or as it is affectionately known, Tears of the Cruisers. Because generally speaking, cruisers do not like this map. There's a lot of open area, not very much cover. But as you'll witness here shortly, cover is exactly what the Henry IV does not like. Henry IV loves open water where she can run and use her speed boost to maximum effect. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show off my build probably either before or after this segment. Uh, I'll do a little, a little clip showing off my build and why I've chosen what I've chosen for this ship. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and push... Push this, uh, push this flank here. Looks like we're headed in the uh, headed in a western direction. A little bit to the south. 
we're going to pass around this island and see if we can uh, spot anybody. Now, one of the few things that I'm not super happy about with the uh, Henry is that she doesn't have a spotter plane. Well, she does, but you have to give up your speed boost, and personally, I don't think it's worth it. Although I would like to have a plane just to be able to see around islands and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'm going to come around this island here. I get spotted, and there's a hipper, and a conqueror, and I believe several other things. So here's where I pop my speed boost, and I begin to turn around because, you know, this is a, a position I really don't want to be in. And unfortunately, I actually rammed the, uh, the Bismarck a little bit here. I wasn't really paying as much attention as I should have. Um, but I just did a... Uh, a decent salvo to the Conqueror with the AP, um, and as you'll see, the AP on the ship can be very, very potent, even against battleships. Honk my horn a little bit. He was pretty congenial about it. I probably should have said sorry in chat. I didn't realize I did. But here's here's another salvo of AP, and now I'm gonna load EG because he's turning away. And uh, yeah, seven thousand damage on an angled Conqueror, not too shabby. But I'm going to go ahead and switch to this Missouri because he's a closer target, and the Conqueror is running away, so I'm not sure how effective my shots are going to be here. The uh, secondaries of the uh, Bismarck are lagging my, my frame rate a little bit. Ugh. Yikes. Here I, I zoom in on the Conqueror again. And unfortunately, I t Un unfortunately, I am running a full fire build on this ship, um, but at the, at the very beginning of this match, I kind of struggled to get fires. Now, part of that was the fact that I did fire two AG sal or AP salvos, so the number of shell hits doesn't really correspond to the fact that I haven't gotten any fires. But uh, I do like to get a fire about once every two or three salvos, um, especially when you're running the 240s. They have a pretty good fire chance. I don't know exactly the percentage off the top of my head, but uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But as you can see, the HG is very, very potent. Even without getting fires, still doing a lot of damage to these ships. Just just by the fact that the HG is so powerful. Now, it's especially potent against US battleships because their deck armor is thin enough that your HG will penetrate. So you'll get full pens on US battleships with your AP, with your HG shells. At least when they land on the deck. As you can see, I'm getting very, very few shatters. But I still have yet to get a fire, which is starting to become very annoying. Uh, still doing decent damage to the Missouri here, starting to saturate the superstructure. And this Conqueror appears to be uh, looking at me, so I'm going to start kiting away a little bit. Which is how the French do. Luckily his salvo missed. Uh, still no fires. Not sure I aimed that one correctly. Maybe fired... No, no, that looks about right. Maybe I could have aimed a little bit further forward. Um, but the British battleships have the curse of the 32mm armor plating. And, uh, Concentrate fire on the target. And here I hit the border. But that 32mm armor just... Mm, mm, so many HE pens. And as you can see, even when humping the border because of how powerful the speed boost is, I'm able to uh, still move at a fairly brisk pace, even with my engine power reduced. Uh, but I am running the engine boost module that gives me an additional uh, additional minute and a half of uh, engine boost, which is very helpful. Because you really, when you're playing the Henry, you really want to be boosting as much as you can. Meanwhile, my my ally, is Mr. Chipmunk, is fighting on the uh, fighting on the other flank. Unfortunately, because of the playstyle of the Henry, it's hard for you to go near the cap zones, and especially when. Uh, especially when there is a lot of focus, you tend to not want to be the, the, the main focus of the enemy fleet. And if you are, it's in your best interest to run. By the way, I finally got a fire. It's the first one. And I'm switching to AP here because this Hindenburg is uh, showing a pretty flat broadside. And there's a Zhao as well. I would like to punish him. The Zhao hits me pretty good there. Um, the Zhao is still moving full speed. I use my torpedoes to check his speed. And I fire my AP. I think I still aimed a little too far forward. Yep. Only over time. But now he knows I'm firing AT, so I'm gonna switch back to HE. Well, it looks like he's not gonna angle as much as I thought he was. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop my heel here. I did not prepare out that fire because it was only one. And uh, with the fire prevention flag, I only burned for about 23 seconds, so not really super important there. Um, hit the Zal. Not sure exactly how much I did. Uh, but I see them running away, and 
I can't Almost help to take a shot or two at him. Because uh, Missouri's, like I said, that that U.S. those U.S. battleships they just do so much. And look at that. You've seen, you saw how much his superstructure got saturated. And I'm still doing 5,000 damage salvos to him. It's going to switch back here to the Conqueror. Uh, I know it has the Hipper targeted, but I am aiming at the Conqueror. It's a replay bug. Conqueror went invisible. Um, hopefully that salvo will hit. Hopefully they'll let him on fire so I can see him. Nope. No fire still. Starting to get a little annoying. Loaded AP again to see if I can punish the Zao for going broadside. At this range, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get those juicy pens, but still trying anyway. Yeah, three ricochets. It's not really uh, not really working out. Now he's angled, so he's not really going to be able to not really going to be able to do much with that AP. And I've still got one single pen. And there, I made the mistake of aiming too close to his ship. I don't think any of those are going to hit. But I'm switching back again to this Conqueror because honestly, it's he's the best, uh, he's the biggest uh, source of damage that I can shoot at at the moment. No one else is low health enough for me to shoot. The Hipper's outside of my effective gun range. There's a fire, 9,000 AG damage. Like again, these guns are monstrous and should not be underestimated. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my speed boost again as soon as it comes available. And the Conqueror did repair that fire, so we're going to try and put another one on her. This game isn't really the best at showing off the fire starting potential of this ship, but we're... You'll see that in a little bit. There's another one. 6,000 damage. Concentrate fire on the designated target. And he just remember he repaired our fire earlier, so he's not going to be able to repair that one for a while. And someone else appears to have gotten another one on him, so... He's burning pretty hot. Unless his super heal comes up and he can print himself a new ship, he is probably cooked. Now those shells did up and the Conqueror took out the enemy Conqueror. So I'm not going to get any more damage from him, unfortunately. And uh, I'm going to go into a free cam mode for a second and check on my ally. Yeah, this is the part where he starts getting overwhelmed by enemies on the other flank. Uh, and he's, he's probably going to die here pretty shortly. I probably should have been helping him out. He, he didn't think the straits were as dire as they were. Now he's being chased by several battleships. Yep, there he goes. He was nuked by the Alsace. So this is the point where I say, screw it on this flank. I think we've got it over here. And I switch to the other side to see if I can avenge my buddy. I need help. There's the Republic pushing in, or the Alsace, rather. I need your support. I need your support. Someone's spamming the uh, quick commands. And the French battleships are also plagued by the same curse of 32mm armor. Here I'm going to fire at the Republic. To see if I can get some fire. Someone already has a fire on his fore and his aft. And unfortunately I miss. I, I did not sh aim that jump correctly. So I'm going to target him again. And fire. And see, if, see if I can get better damage. Not really. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the Alsace. He's about to go behind the island. So I'm not sure how much more effective I can be. There's a fire on the Alsace, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the Republic. He's firing at me still. Luckily that speed boost is coming in handy and throwing off his shots. The Alsace is still burning nicely. I'm gonna put another shot out at him while I turn my guns to face the Republic again. Because now that I have fires burning, oh double fire on the Alsace. He's probably gonna put that one out. Now I'm finally starting to get those fires. Uh, fire at the Republic again. Nope, the Asas is still burning. He may have put out a fire earlier. So he's he's burning hot at the moment. Unfortunately, the Republic is not in a position where I can hit him, although he's coming out now. So I put some more shots in the general direction. As I continue to kite away, and sort of lead them on this wild goose chase. Still no fire. There is the fire I wanted. God, a little bit of lag there from all the shells flying about. And I get the kill on the Republic. Probably not deserved, but with 150,000 damage, 163, I guess it's deserved as, you know, for, for the amount of damage that I've done. I'm going to switch over to the Chapayev because he was broadside a second ago and I loaded AP in the hopes that I could nuke him. 
I'm gonna fire, even though he's not broadside, hoping that maybe he'll turn, try to flee. Um, I'm gonna start turning here because I don't want to put myself too far away from the action. I fire again, hoping to get that juicy broadside. And this salvo looks decent here. Um, and I get decent damage with no citizen, which is truly unfortunate. I put that salvo out at him. Uh, he's at 52 HP. Hopefully this will kill him. And I miss completely. So I switch back to targeting him. And the Alsace finishes him off. So I switch targets to the Alsace again. It appears that he's going to reverse. So I leave behind him and fire my guns. See if I can get some more fires on this guy. First salvo gets a fire. And about 5,000 damage again. And he puts it out immediately, so hopefully we'll be able to get another one shortly and continue to continue to make his day fun and engaging. Being targeted by two, which means the Omagi. Yep, there's the Omagi. And I think the Osasa started moving forward at this point. And I realize that I'm being targeted by two battleships, so I'm going to start turning out. Waiting for the AP that I know will be coming my way, although the, the Salsas is not actually looking at me. I use my torpedoes again to just make sure he is in fact moving forward, which he is. I take my shots and continue turning. And I don't have my boost now, right now, so this is pretty, pretty dangerous. And you can see the shells coming in. I think those are secondaries from the Alsace. I have a fire burning on him now. I know he can't repair it. Take a little bit more damage to the butt. But now I I can switch to the Amagi and fire him as well and know that I'll still be doing damage to the Alsace. You can watch my potential damage counter go up as well with all these secondaries flying in. But this Alsace appears to be cooked. I fire some AP. He's broadside just to uh, confirm his death, and in fact, I get a citadel, On a which is pretty impressive. Uh, and again, shows you the power of the, the Henry HE. Um, and as you can see, our team's starting to win over here. I've actually distracted two of their battleships, um, allowing my team to push the center. And I have my speed boost up, and here we go. I popped that. But all they have defending the center is a Des Moines and a Hipper. Uh, this Amagi is still out here chasing me, which I'm fine with. And now I'm chasing him. This is where my aim starts to go a little wonky. I don't know whether it's just this guy maneuvering well or what the deal is, but I start having a real trouble hitting him. But as you can see, I'm already at 198,000 damage. I probably should pop my heal at this point. There's a fire burning on him. We'll see if he puts that out. Um, but I would definitely... I should have been paying better attention. I should have popped my heal by this point. Because uh, I'm pretty much at the maximum. There it is. There it is. I see it. Uh, ready? But as you can see, the Yamagi has not put out the fire. There's another fire on him. He'll probably put this one out. And I get Witherer, finally. Took a little bit for that to happen, but uh, we got there. I'm going to continue to shoot, trying to, uh, just trying to chip in what I can, but he's maneuvering pretty violently, so I'm having a hard time with his exact location here. He's, he's ruddering pretty hard, and my shots are dispersing pretty crazily. Usually they're a lot more f accurate than that. Um, and unlike the U.S. battleships or the, the British or French, the Japanese have better armor protection against HEs, so... My shells aren't going to deal nearly as much damage when they land either. But damage is still continuing to tick up. Two point five million potential damage and counting. There's a shell that hits. I'm really struggling to land, and of course he's shooting at me all this time. I'm juking and weaving as best I can. There I bounce one of his shells, actually, which is pretty impressive. Uh, but as you can see, I'm getting tens that are dealing no damage. His superstructure, I think, is pretty saturated. And on top of that, his, uh, his, his AA guns and stuff are picking up a lot of that damage. There's another zero damage pen. I 
I'm really just trying to get some fires going on this guy. There, I got a little bit of chip damage in. He's starting to zero his shots in. If I'm not careful, he'll find my citadel. There's a fire. And he's letting it burn. I think he realizes that the game has and is ending soon, either that or he can't repair. There's another fire. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to uh, finish this guy off, get my third kill for the uh, for the game. There's a third fire, and he's finished off by the Amagi. So yeah, that's that's that game. So here you can see the battle results for this game. Uh, Ended with 239,257 damage, which is pretty impressive, uh, all things considered. Witherer, Harsonist, and High Caliber. Destroyed two ships. Got a single Citadel, which was on an Alsace, incredibly. So that's pretty cool. Um, moving on, you can see I was second. Somehow our Conqueror got f higher than me, although I suspect being a Conqueror, he probably just HE spammed like I did and got more fires. He has four kills as well, so he probably... And he was in the middle, so he probably did a little more as far as, uh, as far as, like, actually winning the game that I did. Uh, moving on to the, uh, damage, you can see most of it was to the Alsace. That Conqueror took a lot as well. Actually, I did more to the Conqueror than the Alsace. Um, 80, 80, almost 84,000 damage to, or with fires. 129,000 with, uh, HG, and only 26,000 with AP. Um, and took 60,000 damage, so, so I was tanking it for a bit. 2.6 million potential damage, which again, pretty impressive, almost 2.7. And then I earned a fair amount of credits and whatnot. Um, and then this last one, it's funny, uh, I was doing the, the first task, task 6 of a Halsey campaign, uh, stage 1 task 6, and it, the, uh, the qualifier was to cause 150,000 damage to enemy ships in a single battle and win. So I think I more than made up for that with this battle. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, hang around for more. I will be uploading probably more frequently here in the future. Uh, so yeah, if you like warships, be sure to be sure to share and tell your friends. And I'll catch you guys next time.